In the previous video, I have showed you the basic traffic visualization using VML. And we started a simple network design with, with six routers. We started the simulation. We're able to visualize the traffic flow. We did some uh, ping testing, do a packet capture. We did a tr trace route. We were able to see the traffic flow across the network from source to destination. We also demonstrated the interface slice view and being able to see the logical interfaces and IP address inside a physical link between two routers. In this video, we'll be focusing on the feature of network discovery. If you watched my first video in this series, discovery is a feature that can work independently in the standalone mode. We don't have to uh, rely on the backend simulation engines such as Cisco, Viro, or CML. The discovery can work in a production network, either it's a physical network or virtual network. For demonstration purpose in this video, I'm going to uh, run a virtual network using Cisco Viro, and uh, we try to discover the virtual network and see how it goes. First off, let's take a look at the discovery menu and I'll see the options. We first open VM Maestro, design a network topology composed of 10 routers. And for us to be able to reach the network, we connect one of the routers with a flat network. I also use my PC which is also running the new VML software on it. In order for me to be able to connect to one of the routers, I use OpenVPN to connect to the flat network. And from that point, I can reach the router 10 via flat network. To configure OpenVPN, go to the web management console UWM and click on viral server system configuration and select open VPN here you just need to enable open VPN pick the port the default port is 443 and the client IP range DHCP range you can leave everything default and click on apply changes and the next step would ask you to enter um, maintenance mode before you, the changes can be applied. After the change is applied and everything looks good, you can disable maintenance mode. Now the OpenVPN is uh, enabled and it's running. To download the configuration file for the client, you go to the user profile on the right upper corner and uh, click on download OpenVPN client configuration file. Once the file is downloaded, it includes the certificate for your client to connect to the, to the server, which is the viral server. For Windows users, you can download a free OpenVPN client. I have here. And you can import the configuration file into your OpenVPN client by click on this plus sign and uh, local file and allocate the file on your hard drive. I have already imported it. To get it connected, click on it. Now you are connected to your viral server on the flat network. What it does is regardless what network you are on, as soon as you connect to the VPN, it assigns you an IP address on the same network of flat network. In, in my case, it is 172.16.1 network. See, this is my server's IP, my viral server's IP. This is my VPN IP. From this IP, I will be able to reach the, the router. And from that point, all the remaining routers is reachable. So I have already designed this network and built the configuration. 
and started the whole network to save time. As you can see, all the routers are now reachable. R log in to router 10. First, let's see if I can ping it. This is the console for router 10. Default password is Cisco Cisco. As you can see, it's flat network IP is 172.16.1.109. This is a DOS prompt on my local computer. I'm already connected to the VPN. I should be able to ping it. Let's test it. Yep, I can ping it. And I should be able to telnet to that IP. Voila, I'm on router 10. So this is a good test. I'm making sure that my VPN is working and uh, I have reachability from my PC where VML is running through the flat network to reach router 10. My PC is basically on this flat network right now. Let's check the routing protocols on this router. As you can see, we already learned a bunch of OSPF routes. And we also have some IBGP routes learned. CDP is also enabled before we build the topology. Keep in mind that this is not a default configuration. You do need to enable CDP for VML to be able to discover the, the rest of the network. To do that, go back to design view and click on auto net kit, enable CDP. By default, this is false. You need to change it to true and then build the network topology before you run it. Let's try network discovery. Go to workspace, click on discovery. There are numerous of ways that VML is capable of using to discover the network. It can use BGPS ranges, it can use the telnet, use standard API for discovery. Of course, telnet, SSH, SNMP can do a ping sweep and to discover network services, and also can use network configuration files, NVRAM. And we can also schedule the discovery. If you want to do routine discovery, say once a week, just make sure you have the view of your latest network. To get started, we will configure the basic discovery parameters. Here we can use a profile name to save the configuration for next time. We don't have to enter all the information again. So the key information we need to enter is common. Here we put in router 10's IP address, which is 172.16.1.109. And we enable discover unreachable neighbors. We turn on auto layout. We also enable TCAM discovery and ARP discovery. Under Telnet, we give the default password uh, for VML to be able to log in and pull all the information. The default password is Cisco and Cisco. And you need to add to the list for it to try you can have multiple uh, if your routers are using different credentials. And uh, you, if you list there, VML will try from the top down. Here we also enable use standard API for discovery. And we keep the rest of the default setting. Okay, we save the configuration as, you know, as a profile. Next time we can just select it and do the same discovery without having to go through the configuration again. 
Now I can click on start now. What it's doing is that it uses the the information we we put in, trying to reach router ten using the IP address, and also tries to log in using Telnet. Depending on network speed and how many routers you have, it may take a while to discover all the routers. As you can see, the information start coming up. It's still discovering. We need to wait until it, it finish. Now the discovery is complete. We can close this window. This is discovery finished, found 11 devices. Here is what we have. You can see the interface IP is by click on, click on the information icon. You can see this is a router three with IP address. It's a server IP and the interface IP is loop back. To see the interface or the link between two routers, highlight the link, right click on the link and select slice view. In slice view, you'll be able to see what logical interface is running inside a physical interface. On the left side is an one router, on the other side is the other router. You click on the gig interface zero slash zero, its IP address, and uh, the, it's highlighted in different colors. And you can move it around. This is the loopback interface. This is a gig interface zero slash one with IP address 10.0.0.5. We also have a protocol view, show protocols. And the protocols are uh, color coded with different color. And we can see VLANs, BGPs, and physical interfaces. With this uh, 3D view, you can move the routers around. By default, it automatically set the layout for you, but you can also change it as you wish. So this is the hub router, router 10. It has a bunch of interface connect to each of every other routers. Obviously it has more interfaces and from this view it's very easy to see what they are and what they are the IP is it's very handy this is the other side of the router it 
and you can zoom in and out. This concludes the video showing how to use the discovery feature to discover a production network and visualize network traffic, network layout, and how the routers are interconnected together. This also showing how we use this uh, VML as a standalone tool without any simulation engine such as Cisco Viral uh, discover the network infrastructure. Thank you for watching.